Your Taylor Casey's family and loved ones, they just wrapped up a press conference here outside of City Hall and it happened to fall on her birthday. They are pleading with the FBI and the people of the Bahamas to help bring Taylor home to Chicago. The pain I felt 42 years ago while birthing you doesn't compare to the pain I feel on today with you missing out of our lives. Taylor Casey's mother couldn't hold back tears while pleading for help in finding her daughter. The 42-year-old was last seen on June 19th while at a yoga retreat in Paradise Island in the Bahamas, working towards acquiring additional yoga certifications. Loved ones are not happy with how police are conducting the investigation. On their missing wall, it's a huge wall of missing people, and Taylor wasn't even on the wall. The yoga retreat never put up uh, missing posters of Taylor. The attendees at the yoga retreat didn't even know Taylor was missing. They're calling on the FBI to intervene after the chief superintendent of the Royal Bahamas Police Force was placed on leave pending a thorough investigation. Taylor Casey is a transgender woman, which her mom thinks is why she hasn't been found. You know, if he can be corrupt in that department and take bribes for um, dropping investigation cases, so that just gives me a grave concern about how did you treat my child's case. We know that Taylor Casey's phone was discovered in the water, but police say they have not been able to access it. Family and loved ones did make a trip to the Bahamas to collect Taylor Casey's belongings. They're pleading for any new information that can bring her home. But we want that update. It's been three weeks. We want an update. And loved ones did tell us the local police department there in the Bahamas did promise an update by the end of this week. They're hoping that update is Taylor coming home. Outside of City Hall in Glen Marshall, WGN News. Also